What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Philip Perry. Hope you guys are good. Today I'll be talking about the PP Islands tour that I went to recently in Thailand. So I don't know if any of you guys have been on, on any of these boat tours before in Thailand um, from Phuket. It can get overwhelming at times or it could be a, a, just an amazing experience. Of course, after COVID, um, Thailand's really adjusted. Um, it's just it's adjusted for the good because it opened things up and it's, it's welcome tourists back. But also it's adjusted for the bad as far as um, everything's like an upsell. Everything is um, a way of trying to get as much money as you uh, as possible. But again, it, again, it, I understand because tourism is one of the D or probably the biggest, the biggest money maker right in Thailand. When booking tours in Phuket, you have a couple of options. You can either book it directly. From your hotel, you can book it online or you can book it to these chaos. Um, there's various travel chaoses all over the island. I wouldn't recommend booking from your hotel because it generally be a lot more priced and there's like a price tag and they, they, they don't go up, they don't have any discounts, so they will never go down a price. It just there's just one price and that's it. And uh, services I don't think is the best. Now you just have to find go to you just have a walk in the main streets and go into different uh, chaoses and just talk to the people there. And eventually you'll find one where you can have good communication, good dialogue, and they'll give you very, they'll give you a lot of information, great information, whereas you can take it in. And also they're not upselling you straight away, like bye, 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 bye. So me and my friend finally found one, not far from my hotel. The lady was lovely. We came in, we sat down. She goes, sat down, give us a drink. We just talked. And we were like, look, what, what is the, uh, we're thinking of diff a couple of different tours. What, what would you recommend? And she said a couple of tours, but she recommended the PP Island tours. Originally, want to do the PP Island tour before because I've done it before. But this tour that she recommended is more in depth. When I first did it, we only did about four islands. This one, we literally did seven to eight islands. Uh, so we pretty much did it all in one day. So basically, the tour price was on the door advertised. In, they give you a little bit of leaflets. It was all advertised on the leaflets. As, I think 2,300, 2,200 back. She said, if both of you buy and get this tour, she'll give us a discount. And we're like, okay, what's the discount? She said, I'll do it for 2,000. We went, nah, 1,800. And we literally came up to a price, which was um, 1,840 back, all the way down from our 2,300. So that was good. So that's another thing about the chaos is because remember, this is their business. So, um, they want to sell as many tours as possible because that's how they get the commission and that's how they get paid. Whereas the hotel, people in the hotel, they get paid anyway. All this other stuff is just extra, right? So I recommend going to chaoses and helping them, like give them a sale. Uh, I'm not saying everyone, but the ones that you feel comfortable with, give them a sale and so they can make a little bit of money and you're helping them out. And especially if you have a good relationship and it's a good tour, then you can always keep going back to them and giving them business. Price was a thousand eight hundred and forty, which runs up to about forty one, forty two pounds, British pounds, and um, literally for seven to eight, I paid the same amount, maybe more. I think I paid about forty five pounds the first time, right? And we only did four islands. This one, forty one pounds. We did seven. To, we did. I think we did eight islands, if I can remember. It was definitely seven to eight. I think it was eight. It was eight islands, if I remember right. How the tour runs. She basically, once you paid, she takes she take your details, depending on how many people there are. Let's say there's two to take both your details and find out where you're staying. It's important, obviously, to find out where you're staying because they're going to get someone to pick you up. They're going to have a hotel pickup, which is great. So imagine they come and pick you up from wherever you're staying and take you all the way to the pier. Again, too, I wouldn't recommend making your way to the pier. Um, so it's probably better off them picking you up. What's going on guys, if you liked the video and the review helped in any way, please don't forget to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and help my channel grow. Appreciate you. So they'll pick you up and they'll pick you up in a little van, air conditioned van, which is great. And But again, too, depending on your on the stop, you could be your first, middle or last stop or as far as pickup, the van can get pretty busy because I mean, again, too, I went peak time, which is May. Uh, ending of April, beginning of May, it's very busy this is like really peak time right season in thailand so all these tours get very busy and with these tours they all are a company tour so they they work with other tour groups right so there's a tour groups there's a bunch of different tour groups working at the same place so all these tours are generally very packed and busy so this is the part where 
this part it really dragged the tour down is you basically get picked up at 7 30 you get to the pier about 7 15 7 20 and this is where it gets annoying so from 7 20 your actual tour getting on the actual boat doesn't start to about 10 to 10 30. so you have a two hour span yes they give you food and some drinks I mean, it's not full breakfast, but it's some option, a little savory stuff, um, little pastries here and there, orange juice, water, coffee, uh, some sweets. But your tour doesn't actually start until two hours outside of getting to the pier. The pier is located at Kanlong Tai Ching, which is east or west of uh, Phuket. Um, but um, this is the annoying part because in the two hours, basically, there's a bunch of, there was loads of people, there's a bunch of different people from different tours everyone has different colors we have different wristbands you basically your wristband tells you what boat you're going to get on what group you're going with and there's loads of wristbands there's about 10 different wristbands and so that you can imagine there's 10 different groups of people there's, there's loads of people in this one pair but you have to see, you have to imagine all these different companies work from this pair our tour we went on was a sea angel uh company so um i think all of them work out out of this pair but they have different boats and different people that run these different tours the actual tour was amazing. The, the head of the tour, she was amazing. But it's just getting on the actual boat. It's just a long process of upselling. They say you have to get this, you have to get that. You have to buy these shoes. You have to buy, do you have trunks? Okay, do you want to buy uh, a selfie stick? Do you want to buy this? you want to buy that? Do you want to buy this? you want to buy... It goes on forever, for like two hours straight. When that is over, then you actually get on the boat. They say, okay, this is the number boat you got to get on. Come this way. This is when the actual tour begins and this is when it gets... A, great the head of the tour is amazing they speak english um she probably spoke different languages but she spoke of us in, in in english which is great so she explains the tour and literally with the steps so basically you're literally going to go to different steps you're going to go to different islands so the you basically the first island you go to different islands um where you can get off the boat you can swim there's some some islands you could swim, some islands you go in like on a jungle tour, you walk through, you find some hidden beaches. Some is where it's the reef, where it's just incredible, where you can actually jump. You can't, there's no beach, it's just clear water around this mountain, this mountain reef view, which is the scenery is amazing. This is where they make movies, right? Uh, so you could jump off the boat, you can swim. The package, you could do paddle board, um, you could swim, you could do snorkeling. So you got three different things. Um, you can you can get. I remember they were selling like a exclusive, like on the like um you know like one of the long boats. We can take this this picture. You know all these IG pictures. They have this perfect picture of the mountains in the background. You can pay for that, but that's um that's exclusive. That's a different um, exclusive deal where you have to pay for that on its own. The rest of actual package comes with snorkeling, paddleboard, and um swimming. So there's an area where they stop off. You can jump on the boat and you can spend about an hour in that place then you go to various different islands and depending on the island um during this whole tour you have a huge lunch where there's an island we stop on it's the, it's the biggest island in the pp islands and they have a huge buffet what i like about this tour is on the boat itself you have you have limit unlimited drinks um uh fruits water soft drinks uh obviously not alcohol beverages you gotta pay for that or bring that bring your own but i mean it was a great touch where you have unlimited drinks because it gets really hot, right? So you can get very dehydrated. So there's loads of drinks, water, soft drinks, uh, fruit. Um, they give you some some sweets as well. So it, it was great. It, the tour was amazing. Uh, so like I said, in the middle of it, you have stuff for a huge lunch. It's like a buffet lunch. Of With the lunch, you get like Thai, Asian, Indian, uh, Western food. You got a bunch of... All these other different foods, which is like annoying. Like we're in Thailand, we should just have Thai food, but whatever. Uh, then this island, after you're eating, you, you're there on this island for like 40 to an hour. And just to, you know, you can go swimming if you want. I went to swim for a little bit, obviously, but on a full stomach, you got to chill. Um, then after that, you know, you get back on the boat and you go to another island. So I have all these different islands. And then on the eighth island, on the last stop, you get there and it's like, um, it's a smaller island, but they have loads of like shacks where you can get drinks, food. They also have like a fruit basket where you can have a little light snack as well. So you give you another light snack. You have some drinks. Um, but if you want alcohol beverages, you want like coconut water, whatever, you have to pay for that on your own. But um, what I did is uh, when we got they got a little bit of fruit snack, went to the bathroom, then got on a jet ski. It, it's a great thing with the tour. Um, obviously, they all work as one, right? So um, there's the tour, the jet ski company. 
deal with the tall guys and obviously they bring them customers to give them discounts so i got on a jet ski uh for cheaper than what i did in on phuket island but it was it was great it was like a 30 minute on a jet ski then come back chill uh eat have another drink then get back on the boat so it's all timed and scheduled like i said the tall guy would tell you all the scheduling which island it is how long you're stopping at the island for and it's like a whole regimen of a uh, of structure of what you're going to do the tour it, it can get long it's pretty long it's pretty it's it's pretty much an all-day tour if you're hitting all seven islands it's all day i didn't get back to my hotel till about i left at 7 30 in the morning i didn't get back to about eight at night so remember the tour finishes about six seven let's say six you get back to the pier you chill there for a bit they ask you for for any donations blah 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 and upsell you again then um then you have to find um the bus that, to take you back to your hotel so now you got to go back to your hotel again depending on what stop you are you could be the first or the last i was the last obviously um and uh so that i didn't get back to my hotel literally in my hotel room until about 8 30 so you can imagine this is like a whole day thing so so be aware of that it's going to be a ho pretty much whole day tour so do not plan anything like afterwards you'll be exhausted so if you're going to go on this pp island tour especially this one uh seven uh seven to eight uh, um islands just prepare that just look look at that as a day tour so and just have that as your day your agenda for the day and that's it it was great for the price it was very detailed. We hit literally all the PP islands. There's probably even more. There's so many little little islands, but like we hit we hit all the main ones, which is like eight of them, and uh, it was amazing. Beautiful islands, beautiful beaches, great people. Um, you can stop different places and go to the bathroom and stuff like that. It's just it's just it was just a well done tour. When you actually get on the boat and get on the tour, it was fantastic. It's just the prelude and the after. A bit it, those are the two parts where it can get it can get drawn out and get kind of annoying but the tour itself was amazing flawless i, I, I if i went back i'll do i'll do it again i'll do it again definitely i, I 100 percent um uh, i recommend this again remember guys this is not a sponsored ad they did not pay me to do this video i paid use my money for the tour and i experienced the tour these videos are just trying to give back and give you as much information so when you want to make a decision on what tour to do uh, uh you know i mean there's so many there's so much information out there you can get overwhelmed at times so i i hope i give you a little bit of information that can help you um pick which tour you want to or make a you know healthy decision if you found this video helpful in any way please don't forget to hit the subscribe button so i can come back and bring you more videos that are helpful hit that subscribe button till next time peace